call me Fuego. 93 like me. Fire in the sheets, spending summers on the seas. Quedo, shit, no way. Welcome back everyone, we're hopping in to game number 5 of today, we've got Neringa left and then we've got Miramar left and it's all but over, trying to conserve my voice a little bit, I'm not talking all too much in the breaks, um, yeah it's a bit of a special one when you're just uh, talking 24-7, there's no, no other casters, there's no analysts, uh, you're observing your own, it's a little bit of a special, uh, special task. Uh, but I really, really enjoy it, and we've been seeing a whole lot of really, really good PUBG today. So I'm happy to be watching it with you guys. Uh, playing's pretty, playing's pretty even. Playing's pretty fair for everyone this time. Really, no one's struggling. I've been saying this every game so far, but we've had pretty, pretty fair planes. Not perfect planes. Never perfect, but never, never really bad either. To TSM here, and Heman is gonna have absolutely no idea. There's been no sign of life from TSM because they just weren't here. But look at Iro, he's gonna peek over the top. And do quick work of Heman, gonna get a good spray into Tekkas as well. Tekkas down to just 50 HP. He's gonna make the run for it on the buggy. Tries to just send it away, but DMRs from TSM. Oh, and Iro got him! Iro gets him out of the buggy. Iro gets punished hard by Omakin, but it doesn't matter because he gets Tekkas out here. They get Sunny on the other side, so game frame has just completely stumbled into two teams that have an insane amount of fragging power and they get punished super hard for it. T-Bone doesn't give any damn. He's just pulling up, gets tagged down by Fex. Similar situation again. Vasco, he's going to go for the drive-by. He's going to hit it. He's not gonna hit anything at all. I take back everything I said. But he can still chase this down and he's just as There it is. There's the headshot as he's just Well aware that Arb is down to 10 HP and that is a horrible game for game frame. That is that is a huge tilter They just they were sort of they were just trying to play the terrain They were trying to spread out they were trying to get information and, and position and they just get caught in between an absolute grinder. Um, grinder being not fix, but Omakin and TSM in that sentence. And now Omakin is Omakin is looking for this fight onto TSM instantly. They're already going for the flanks. Vasco is pulling up above them. And it looks like TSM is getting ready for it. TSM has already sent a player outside. They sent two players out, but Mercury's coming back. And I Vard might spot this, but Paige spots him as well. Now Vard's in the open. Vard's gonna have to land everything here, but Paige comes out on top. And the timing just doesn't work out for Omakin here at all. The aggression is just a little bit unexpected for TSM. Smoke instantly flying. Miracu instantly going for that res. He's gonna get about 12 smokes out to make sure he can get a res in this smoke as well, but now Vasco gets by, get, finds Iro. Fix. He's got it all to do on the yellow house. He's gonna spot Vasco's head. A good bullet in, but he's gonna have to reposition. Just doesn't have anywhere to go. He doesn't want to offer himself to this ridge line. He doesn't want to offer himself to Vasco, but he can only do one of the two. And now we're gonna see Paige finding Mad, and it's TSM done and dusted as Team 15 in this game. And Mexi is just absolutely ratting on Iro. Ironic, excuse me. <laughs> and then. Again, that's a tilter. I'm not sure how that happened. I'm not sure how Mexi got here. But it looked like Iroh had absolutely no idea, or maybe he did. I'm not sure. Uh, FaZe is sending it. FaZe is trying to play the dips. And Tropic is contesting them for it, though, and double. He's not in the position to shoot, but he's in a position to nade this. And there's so much utility coming out from each side, but... Uba just doesn't care. Uba is just stepping over. Tries to find the timing. It's gonna get just completely dominated here by Norwick. Shots are coming out from afar as well. Gustav trades one back and double. Can't really come out on top. It's FaZe taking the dips for themselves, but they lose 
Yeah, they lose 80 in the process. They almost lose Uga, but they don't. As there was a little bit of fire, suppressing fire from Entropic. I'd be interested to see if they try to crash on this. But for now, it's just going to be Reggie Beardo <laughs> going for a canine shot. He gets bolty instead. He leans out the window. He gets bolty by Melman down to just 30 HP. Um, interesting play from FaZe. Uh, good to see they come out on top of that fight. As TDM. Omakin has to send it back. Try and help the GMT. Page down to 1 HP and... Oh no, Max is all... He's gonna get... Oh, he doesn't take the shot. And now he doesn't need it. <laughs> Can't really decide what to do, but Page is just so caught in the open that it doesn't matter at all. And now it's just gonna be T-Bone and Vasku. And that's what I mean, it's, it's so messy, it's so hard to win a city fight cleanly because one knock can just turn everything around. It's gonna be the Wanderer. Holding the close angle, gets a good shot, good amount of shots into T-Bone and Vasco knocks T-Bone and this is just gonna be... That's just gonna be horrible and this, yeah. It's a good point deny from Vasco there. Uh, obviously not intended. But stuff like this happens. As the circle has gone east. And uh, it's going to force a lot of fights in Pachinki. Might might just force one fight in Pachinki, if I'm going to be completely honest. Might have overhyped that one a little bit. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Tornado Energy do. They get a first knock onto Hockey, and Hockey is instantly confirmed by FaZe. As Entropic try to make a bit of an early play. But they don't have a lot of ground on top, so I wouldn't be surprised if they just send it down. They try to force the fight onto, onto Reggie Beardo. But they have to be very careful about Na'Vi in the back lines, and you can already see them eyeing it up. You can already see the shots coming in from Orange. But Orange is in the open. Orange has zero cover to play with, but that nade... That's a close nade from Reggie Beardo. It doesn't quite connect as Corsac is going to find Joker. Mixu. 1v3. Mixu against Mix. And there he goes. Corsac over committing. Caught out. Good spray by Mixu. Because I'm not gonna get back on his feet here, but Mixu can have a lot of ground. He can really play here as, oh, as Uber. A big, big, strong arm is gonna find two of Tornado Energy. Navi has brought the fight to TDM. TDM is gonna go out in 10th here. They couldn't make the push down the hillside. They've also got creeps on the back, but Navi has absolutely no idea about the creeps. But there it goes, Orange turns around, X-Hype, beautiful spray from him, Jaburaska gets caught out. And that's not going to be a flush, it's going to be close to a flush, even though that spray was perfect. And there's a lot of damage coming in onto TE, there's a lot of utility, there's a big angry Uber. He's got a barrel, but he's got turned on by Alia. And it's not looking that pretty for FaZe, they try to make this push, they went aggressive on it, they got a lot of knocks, they got a lot of damage that way. It's only going to be one kill for them. It's going to be two players lost in the process. Uh, it's actually just one player as they lost one earlier, but this just opens the door for Navi, and Navi is just going to... Navi is not going to stop here. I would, I'd be very surprised if they don't pull up, use their cars. There's Besto with a drive-by grenade onto example. It's not going to kill him because he hits the prone. Second one is looking even more deadly. The cars are exploding. There's less and less cover to hide. They've, they've held on once, maybe they can hold on twice. There's another nade onto Quizzy, it's bouncing right behind them. He's trying to make this peak work, and he's just going to prone in the smoke. As Besto comes around, the flashes coming from each side, and Alia has got one more nade. He's not on fire just yet, but there he is on. He's just proning. Oh, he's just behind the Molotov. And there's the second Molly, it's going to catch him on fire. It's going to flush him out, I think, as Quizzy still holding on, bouncing in between the smokes. There goes Navi. They cleaned it up. They've cleaned up their entire side, and now they're on seven kills, and they're looking beautiful for this game. As Windstreak is making their last rotation of this game, crash the dips onto Phase as Fast Phase is trying to get ready for it. But they've stopped early, so they're actually making a bit of a foot push here, which is interesting. Not not risking to crash into him, but it, just running him down. And it doesn't look like he spotted Offspring. An Offspring. Offspring hasn't spotted him either. They're just focused on Gustav, and Gustav is just tearing apart Max is all there. So phase, first phase, step up. Didn't see it at first, but 
doesn't need two chances. Doesn't need one against against the Wanderer either. He's just gonna clean wipe this. Six teams alive. Phase is on eight kills. Uh, Navi's on seven. And we have a, a whole lot of teams in Pachinki still with Batulins, Mixed Team, and, and Team Liquid. And they all have to move very, very close to each other. Meisters is making a run. He's been hurt by Batulins. Pre fire comes out from each side. Oka is going to close the gap. So we have a 2v1. Maybe a little bit of help from Liquid, but there's not going to be a whole lot. It's more just the Tulin's completely forced into this room. Because if he plays any other room, he gets shot in the back. So if there's a little bit of utility left on Mixed Team, they could maybe flood him out. They're trying to play it slower. They don't really, don't really know that they're just dealing with a solo and Poker with a good spray. It's a good nade to trade back, but it's not going to do anything just yet. And Meister's doesn't want to overstep, and he doesn't see Eevee in the back, but Eevee definitely sees him. Poker going for the jump. And they really can't waste any more time, but Tulin's made the run down the stairs. Poker's just going to go past. Baits him out. The headshot comes out. From Batulin is going to win that fight for him. Meister's hard in the open. Well played from Batulin. He just bides his time, goes down the stairs at the right time. With a little help from his friends. Comes out on top here. Team Liquid 3, Navi 4, Phase 2. And the circle is looking pretty even. It's looking pretty playable for everyone so far. Team Liquid, they've been on the edge for a while now. They're not going to be in the center for the last one. so and They have a little bit further to go, but they've been, they've been here for a while. Their utility should be good. Their armor should be fairly fresh. As I say that, there's a good level 3 vest on Jeems. There's a good level 3 vest on, on Mexi. They've all got level 2 helmets. And they all have utility. So this should be not as rough as the position makes it looks like. Makes it look like for Team Liquid. But it's it's gonna be a tough task to take anything away here from a four man Navi. We're just holding down the south. Batulin's gonna make the run now. He's been spotted. And EB's just doing all he can to just make sure he doesn't get knocked here. He's not gonna risk anything. Doesn't spot Batulin's on the right though, and there he goes, the nade comes in, Eevee's gonna instantly dodge that one. And Batulin... He's really trying his hardest, he's smoking towards them, he's trying to get close. There's Mexi on the off angle, and now it's gonna be a run into the smokes. It's gonna be a wild charge. See, he's tanking blue here, he can't afford to because he's gonna get the first aid off. He's gonna get another one off in the blue, and that might just outplay Team Liquid, but... James has got his number. Looks to the right side of the smoke, takes him out instantly. Three teams alive. FaZe have made the push into the wizard. They've grouped up. And Navi is still holding strong. Navi, they, they're they not quite central either. So if you look at this, we've got, we've got two teams. Getting shots with Navi as well. And now the circle. He knew it was going center. It's gonna start moving in just about two seconds. And the closest to the center is Lick. Yeah, it's it's a wash. Everyone's close enough to the center to, to win this game. Oh, and Gustav is going for it. Gustav is going for the roof. That is a huge play. I don't think he's going to get rewarded here because the wizard is almost pushed out. EB is almost at the shack already. So I don't think it's going to be... I think it's going to matter that much. Oh, and his smoke is also sort of... Oh, his smoke is, is hurting him a little bit. But he's just going to be... He's going to be holding on. He's got about maybe 20 more seconds, maybe 15 more seconds. As Fuzz makes the run through the smokes, he's going to, he's going to spot out Jeems out of that car. But Jeems is sort of outside of nade range. That molly in the smoke gets dangerously close. But I'm just waiting for Gustav to unleash. And the spray comes out. They're not going to come out, connect all that much. But Navi is incredibly bunched up. And that nade is going to knock down Orange. Maybe do a little bit more than that. As Orange survives with just one HP. First day comes through, co connects onto Gustav with the SLR. So it's 3v1 before. And Navi, they're about to hit the ghost switch. There is EB. Gets one. And Navi, still, they're still so bunched up. They're just, they're just all playing on top of each other. And they really have nowhere to go. There's more utility coming in. Besto is caught in the open with the grows. And Mexi's going to wrap around the side. Mexi only has Orange to deal with. Orange hits the prone though. So he's going to... Should survive for just a little bit longer. EB gets set ablaze and it's Fuzz Phase and Orange. Proning it out for their team respectively and EB and Jeems. A duo. 
Pesto is crawling for info. Orange is gonna take it out. A second place for Navi as James crawls around the side and he's gonna finish it. And that's gonna be Liquid coming out on top of that. Absolutely chaotic. Um, end game. Next to Pachinki, they loot Pachinki, they left it, they came back, they claimed it. They win the game with seven kills. Incredible end game, that last shift, shifting away from Navi, just opening up that kill for everyone's taking. Gustav with the roof play, can't quite make it work, still five kills for him. And nine for face in total. Nine for Navi, and seven for Team Liquid. The big teams showing what's up, showing that they're ready for PCS3. And uh, it, it's another banger. I don't know what to say, guys. We've just been getting beautiful games tonight. Tonight, energy with six kills as well.